guys. So today I'm here to talk about some of my June monthly favorites. I know I haven't filmed for a while. I've had so much going on in my everyday life that I just hadn't had the time. So I wanted to sit down before the end of the month and show you some of the makeup that I've been using for the month and have just enjoyed it. And because I still wear makeup every single day even though I'm not filming, I have been trying out some new things and trying out some old things that I had put away and I wanted to show you some of the things that I re-fell in love with and just completely love either way. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about and I did do a dedicated video to it on this is the Tarte Clay Palette, the Clay Pay Play Palette. I'll link that down below if you want to see it. This is a really, really nice palette. I love it for contour. I've had this makeup on for over 13 hours and you can still see the contour on my face. I mean, I just really love it. I do not have it on the eyes today. I have another one of my favorites of the month on my eyes, but I love the fact that this palette, you can do the contour, you can do your eyes, you can do so much with it. And I really, really enjoy this palette. So if you haven't picked this up or if you haven't tried it yet, I strongly suggest it. And I just really love the smell of it too, so I think that's what really draws me to it as well. The smell of the palette and then the colors, even though they look super neutral and super plain, you can get some really, really nice looks out of it. So that is my number one pick for June. I've been really loving So the really next favorite I have palettes. for the month of June is going to be the Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced. So I've been finding myself really drawn to a lot of the colors in this palette this month. Um, I think maybe because of the summer feel of it and the light peach colors in it that I've really liked just using this palette. I actually have been pairing it a lot with the Tarte palette. So um, these two palettes have been something that I've been using a lot this month. I've been super happy with the looks that, I've, that have come out of both of these palettes. So another one of my favorites this month would be Sweet Peach palette. If you haven't tried this one, this is another one that's really, really nice in my opinion. And it just has a really subtle peach smell to it. So I think the longer you have them, the smell goes away. So if you are not partial to the smells of Too Faced's palettes, the longer you have it, the sweet peach palette Next smell will go away. Next I have a blush from Fiona Styles. So I ended up picking up this from Ulta. They, right now they're on sale for $5, originally $20 on their website. And I believe they only got two colors left. I ended up picking the color Lex, I think it's called. It's a super pink color and I stuck my nail in it. So that happens all the time with me, but it's like a peachy color. It's kind of like a just, you know, your skin, you, flesh color and I think that's why I've been drawn to it and I wanted to try it out because they're all on sale on Ulta I mean all of Fiona Styles stuff is on sale on Ulta for like half off if not more than half off so I, I picked this one up and I'm super disappointed that I didn't get all the colors that she had and there's only two left so I think I'm gonna pick up the pink color that they have and, and then they have like a raisin color I think that might be too dark for my skin tone but I've loved how long the blush stays on my face it's not super overly shiny on the face it's almost like a matte but it's just a beautiful beautiful color and i think that this color will suit a lot of people's skin tones so um if you're looking for a good blush and you don't want to spend too much i believe they have two different colors in stock right now a pink one and another one called raisin i believe but this one super pretty and i'm super excited that i picked it up super upset that i did not pick up more than one of these so once that one runs out i know that they're repackaging their brand right now so once it runs out i will have to pay the 20 dollars for it but i'm really excited all that right I got it for the next thing that i've really been enjoying wasn't too sure i was going to because i do love the better than sex mascara but i have been using lash paradise for a month now and i really like the way it makes my lashes feel now i do have sometimes i have a little bit of fallout with the Too faced born or Too faced better than sex mascara but this one i've found that i do not have any fallout on my eyes it doesn't flake off at the end of the day and it just stays in place it doesn't give me the volume that i really like from the Too faced one but it does just it does something for me so i really like it if you haven't tried this one i would definitely um, suggest this and pick this up and you know give it a try I think it's like nine dollars or something like that at Walmart but it's a really good mascara and I highly right. suggest it the next thing I have is something that is very expensive I did not purchase this this is the Marc Jacobs gel liner so it's not one that you would sharpen so it's one that you will have to turn the little knob to get it up and on the other side which I haven't used yet it does have a sharpener I believe 
So it does have a sharpener on the other side, which is something that I haven't tried yet, but it does come with a sharpener. This pencil is pretty pricey. Like I said, I did not purchase this myself. My sister-in-law actually got a couple of them and she sent me one of them, which was really nice of her. Actually, when she came in for my boy's graduation, she um, gave me this. So I'm super excited that she gave it to me. I love how well it sits in the waterline. I have a hard time finding liners that will stay in my waterline and not seep down in the bottom of my line on the bottom of my waterline here in the middle of my eye. So this one actually does a really good job. I don't know personally if I would spend the amount of money. I do not know. I think these are like 20 to $30 for the liner. So I don't know that I would, but um, if these ever go on sale, I will definitely pick them up because they're so nice and they stay right in the waterline. And I know that they come in different colors too. So that's then really for awesome foundation, well. I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost a lot lately. Um, during the summer, my face tends to get less oily than it normally does and gets more dry as in spots and not like dry dry but just kind of patchy dry and so this has really been helping I do have it on right now and it, again like I said I've had it on for 13 hours and it still looks pretty good for you know having it on for 13 hours um, this is one that a lot of people don't like because they say it oxidizes on their face for some reason I don't feel like it does that with my face so I've been really happy with it and I like the extra moisture it gives to my face and it doesn't make me look super oily at the end of the day. I have been using a setting powder with it because I set my face all the time and, and that may be one of the reasons why I'm not having an issue with it but I really do like it and it's one of my favorites. Alright and gym. the last thing I have is this Skin Skindinavia setting spray. Another item that my sister-in-law gave me when she came for the graduation. This stuff is amazing. I've used many different setting sprays throughout my time on YouTube and then before that. And this one for some reason really does set your makeup in place and it has made me very, very happy. So this is one of my um, favorites of June and probably July and August and September and probably for the upcoming months, I'm gonna have to start buying it online because you can't get it in stores, but this stuff is pretty darn amazing so if you haven't tried this setting spray i would give it a try now one of the set the primers that i was kind of shocked with another item that i've been enjoying this month is a smashbox photo finish foundation primer this pore filler one so i normally use a silicone based pore filler. I'm not too sure if this one has silicone in it because it's just like a little sample, but it's more of a cream base. It's kind of a thick cream. It almost looks like foundation-y on your fingers. And it may have silicone in it, but either way, this thing has been keeping my pores at bay, which is really, really nice. And it may have silicone because it does blur really, really well. But I think that this is one that even though it's super expensive, I think it's like $30 for one fluid ounce or two fluid ounces. This is one that I'm going to purchase the full bottle of. And I've tried many of um, Smashbox. Um, other primers. I've also tried um, Makeup Forever uh, primers. Um, I do have this one from Smashbox, the photo finish, the gel one. Um, this one I don't like as much as I like this one. So um, this is the one that I would choose to repurchase. And I, I've just been enjoying that one throughout the month of June. All right. So I think that is all of my favorites. Again, I apologize for not being around the last couple of days. I, I think I have, it's been about a week since I filmed anything. So I wanted to sit down and film real quick and show you guys some of the favorites that I've had for the month. Um, this is a new item to me. And of course, this clay palette was a new item to me for June. And um, I do highly suggest the Fiona Styles if you haven't tried that yet. But that was all I got for you guys this month. Let me know what your guys' favorite for the month of June was. All right, guys. I hope you guys have a good afternoon. I'm going to start filming regularly again. So I shall see you guys either on Sunday or I will see you guys on Tuesday of next week. All right. Bye.